Welcome, welcome. Hello. We'll wait a moment because uh, this was planned a while ago, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 start very soon. I just gotta share everything because this was intended to happen. Uh, I think yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, pretty much, and like one day ago. Today. Shut up. Add stream. Missed stream. There we go. It was supposed to happen yesterday. What happened is, um, I, I will not call it embarrassing, but I don't know if you know that, but there is a new update in Stardew Valley. And I got completely addicted to it. I played 81 hours in seven days. <laughs> I skipped sleeping <laughs> just that I can keep playing. <laughs> and yesterday, when the stream was supposed to happen at 7 p.m., well, pretty much what happened was I checked the clock because I was like, huh, no, 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 wait, that's not how it was. I opened my emails and... Hey! Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I can't believe it. I told you my entire life story and I was muted. So, Yunus, first of all, thank you so much for joining as a beer buddy and uh, thank you so much for the five gifted membership subs. Very much appreciated. Thank you guys for calling out that I was muted. I'm just being stupid. Um, so, but yeah, very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So... Are you okay? <laughs> you know, what a Schwede! Those are beer party subs, man! Those are not the cheap ones! Relax! Man, so <laughs> thank you so much! Man, I like the tune, I gotta say, though. <laughs> I made that one. I think that's a cool one, isn't it? Well, well, thank you so much, it's so appreciated. I love how the YouTube chat got really slow after the 10 gifted membership subs, because I think it can't even find 10 people to give it to. <laughs> Like, the entire chat is just green. And, uh, yeah, hi, everyone. Hi, 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 welcome. Um, oh, Fee also got one. Interesting. Janine, I think, got one, if I see that right. No, but thank you so much. Piotrek also got one. Yep, those are the well-known names. Uh, cool. No, but thank you so much, man. Very much appreciated. That's huge. So, guys, story time. What happened to the stream yesterday? Dex wanted to stream the Triple I initiative, right? Yes, he wanted to. What happened was, you might have heard that a couple of days ago, Stardew Valley had an update 1.6. Alter! Did you just give 25 beer buddy subs? Isn't... Am I stupid? Isn't Beer Party one? There's the, like actually the, the, 
that's, isn't that the expensive one for five? <laughs> Let me check that out. <laughs> Dude, Alter, you know, you know, I appreciate it so, 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 so much, but please be aware of what you're doing. Yeah, Alter Schwede, it's actually the five euros. Please be aware of what you're doing, okay? That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And I'm right now apologizing that I haven't streamed, okay? So, but yeah, what happened is I got completely addicted to, uh, what is it called? I got completely addicted to, um, dude, uh, you're actually messing me up right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Thank you, man. Um, I got completely addicted to Stardew Valley. I didn't expect it that I fall in love with it so much, but all the new additions are amazing for me because I like to play challenging. I like to have stress. I like to be competitive and all of like a lot of the new events and things that happened are exactly that. In seven days, in less than seven days, I played 81 hours. Like I even skipped sleep sometimes just to play Stardew Valley. Now what happened is I, I I'll be straightforward. I opened my emails at 11 p.m. yesterday. I saw the Triple I initiative sending me an email that I can use like a like a stream um, to to watch it live in good quality. And I'm like, oh yeah, there was something that where I should have been four hours ago. So what do I do now? Do I just stream now and make up for it? And then I was like, huh, but I still have Stardew Valley open, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I just kept playing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apologies, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. But uh, now we are here. Huh? Okay, there's something bugged. Because it shows me a gift of 3 times 10. That's not what you did, right? No, no, no. 5, 10, 10. Okay, yeah. Something with my top chat is off. But yeah, that's exactly what happened. Okay. I messed up guys, now we are back at it and we'll check it out. I rushed to this, that we can do this together and take a look at all of the DLCs and everything. I just need to very quickly finish something. Um, didn't I make a thumbnail? Oh yeah, I did. I just need to very quickly finish something because today I did an update video on Vampire Survivors that I recorded and I just have to upload this that it gets going. But right after that, we are ready for this here. And sorry, I haven't read, it, read a lot of chat so far. I will get back to that in a moment. It's just that I'm doing other stuff all the time. But I was like, um, I want to start this at 6 p.m. Okay, so it's not like we are starting it right now. Um, but I wanted to give everyone time that you can be here because we'll watch a video and I'll not go back and forth. That means I want to give people time to be here that they don't come in and are like, oh, what were the other games? And what was this? And what was this? And what was this? You know, understood? I think that makes sense. Okay, Vampire Survivors video for today, 8 p.m. The beta update on Vampire Survivors was so hilarious. There's a... Okay, I'll not spoiler it because I some people don't want to be spoiled. And I, I'll not force a spoiler on you. But yeah. Uh, what about music, huh? There we go. Oh, that's Chilly Millie. Chilly Millie. Ah. Oh. There we go. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Is today Thursday or Friday? Okay, I have to say something there as well. So in Stardew Valley, there are certain traders and on certain days they have different things. And I'm looking for two specific days, which is Thursday and Sunday. And this morning when I went to sleep after another five or eight or ten hour session of Stardew Valley, I checked my phone and I was like, oh, it's Thursday. That means I can go to the trader. <laughs> but it's Thursday in real life, not in the game. <laughs> my brain is so much in the game mode. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah. That's pretty much what happens. So, is it time to share the uh, screen? I would say so. Bam. Ah, oh, chilly mini music. I like it. I also thought that we could play some Vampire Survivors together later on, but I think what I'll do instead is I will get recording. Like, I will start recording more videos because that makes a bit more sense. Dex, take the red pill and stay in Stardew Valley. What do you think I'll do after the stream? I just said I'll record, but I'll actually go back to it playing. 
<laughs> I don't need to leave the Matrix, I just need to have a happy life, then I'm good. Hi, Nico. Artifact Seekers? No, I don't really want to spoiler anymore with games that I'm uploading, because I think that really destroys the progression. But there will be a lot more videos about Artifact Seeker. Dude, I had such an amazing video that would have been released today if Vampire Survivors wouldn't have an update, which is all summons. The game is so stupidly good. Like, okay, so you guys need to understand, I always had many wishes for these Horde survivals, and that game literally combines every little thing except for one that I was hoping for. The only th thing it doesn't combine in there is equipment. But aside from that, there's every little thing in this game, and I love it. I hope Ascension is maybe a thing, but what- ugh, ugly music. Goodbye. Yeah, but there we go. So we are starting in five minutes, guys. In five minutes, there are so many DLCs in this, I heard, but I avoided spoiling myself. I only know there's a Vampire Survivors DLC announced, and I would assume that almost all the games listed here will be announced. Now, the thing is, not all the games that are in here... Oh, there was Vampire Survivors! There's a DLC! This is Dexhalter hiding! Nein! Ah, nix! Nix! Nein! Stop! Halt! Okay, sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Okay, we'll take a look at all of these games, even if they are not for the channel. The video is just like 30 minutes, I assume, and the last 15 minutes is probably... I don't know what. But we'll take a look at them. What is this music? Give me something better. Oh. Oh, that's chilled. Oh, nice. So it's just a watch along. Yes and no. I will pause the video and I will say what I think and maybe like talk in general about it, but we'll not just watch this and that's it. It's 45 minutes of trailers. I'm up for that. So much indie love. We are truly blessed this year. Yes. And I've heard that Vampire Survivors DLC is a huge collab. Apparently. Hi, Loli! Welcome! And there are more collabs planned. Remember, guys, that uh, um, the, uh, Larian, the studio behind Baldur's Gate, was like, Hey, should we do a co-op with Vampire Survivors? And my mind is still blown by that. But yeah. Okay, we are four minutes, guys. Four minutes. Then we just... Alter. What, what kind of music have I selected here? Pass me a prayer and a bowl of rice. Okay. I'm this country. <laughs> Holy. Holy people. I got the gun and I'll shoot you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll finally get the vampire. Um, funny enough, I think there was a comment where they said, why didn't they do a collab with Castlevania? And... Uh, like a community manager from Ponkel said because that would mean that they would get a vampire so they, they, they can't do that. I recommend playing Risk of Rain 2. Risk of Rain 2 isn't really a horde survival. Like Risk of Rain is pretty much more like a roguelite. But I did play Risk of Rain 2, there are even videos on the channel. Hi Flamboyant, welcome. Vampire Survivors coming to PlayStation? Yes, also true. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes. I'm so hyped for this. Is it really Vampire Survivors if we can't survive as a vampire? So, the way I understood it at first was that we are the vampires that survived. Like, if you watch the very first video that I uploaded, that's what I said there. Um, but apparently the way it is that we are the survivors of the vampires. Like, we survived the vampires. So it makes sense that there are no vampires because we survived them. That means we killed them, right? Is the stream starting soon? In uh, one minute, roughly. Yes. What will we be watching? You'll see it in a moment. The, the following program may contain content that some viewers find offensive. So it will call you a Dinkelberg. If you're offended that someone calls you a Dinkelberg, then please turn off now. Okay? And I'll, I can borrow you a schnuller that I used to have. Why don't you play Risk of Rain 2? But I used to, but it's not really fitting to the channel at all. Like, alter Schwede, bist du verrückt? Junge! 
Dude! Dude, you will make YouTube cry. I don't even think YouTube can find that many people to give... <laughs> How long does it take to give that? <laughs> Look at that! It's still going! <laughs> Dude, what are you doing, man? Dude! You know it's... Alter, okay, listen, 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 listen. First of all, thank you so much. You can't see it, but I'm bowing down. You can't see it, thank you so much, but... I... I know this is not what a content creator wants to do, but I just want to ring a bell for you. What you just donated is worth 100 euros, I think. I'm actually not sure how this works with currencies, but like it's worth 100 euros for me. So please make yourself aware of that. You have spent... Alter Schwede. Is that right? You have spent 220... Listen. I can't refund that. Okay, if you notice you made a mistake, I can't refund that because this is on YouTube. This is not like PayPal where we can do something. Please be aware of that. Chill. I really appreciate it, but Jesus Christ, okay? <laughs> Please. I, I didn't even realize myself that this is like a lot of money, okay? Like a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Please. No, bro, in my country, it's very cheap. Okay, then it's fine. No, but still, very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. He wants the chat all in green. Yeah, we create a green army here. Okay, but then then, then it's fine. YouTube takes more than 50% of gifted subs. No, YouTube takes 30%. And if you do it with Apple, Apple takes another 30%. But YouTube takes 30%. Yeah, but why, would, why, would, why are you saying that? I will just multiply it by 5. But yeah. Will you play GTA 6? Nope, not my channel. Oh, uh, we, are, we are starting. Um, oh, great. Uh, do I keep you guys on the screen or not? Well, I don't even have a screen prepared. I don't think I, gu I keep you guys on the screen, right? Because you can see the chat either way. Um, so I would just say, I hope you guys are ready. I'm really excited. Well, I'm currently wondering if I keep you guys on the screen. It could be cool. Mm, nah, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's not get interrupted. You guys have to stream the, the chat on YouTube. Okay, is the sound on? Oh, yeah. Let me know if the volume is too quiet. Oh, I hate bright colors. What is that? You can barely hear it. Okay. Better? Like this? I think this is good. Card game? Oh, Slate Aspire! Okay. Yeah, Slate, Slate Aspire too. I love Slate Aspire. I never played it, but I watched it a lot. Hi. Hello. We are just getting... Well, I would hope so, because it just started. <laughs> Imagine it was just over. <laughs> that reminds me of Wrist of Rain. That is Wrist of Rain! Wait, that's part of this? Right, it was when I put together the thumbnail, yeah. Oh. Well, I hate this dude. Is it an update? Because I know all of these maps. Free update coming soon. Okay. World premiere. Okay. 
Kill Knight. I'll be honest, I've never heard of the game. Which doesn't mean a lot, right? But, uh, yeah. Is it Minecraft? <laughs> it's so blocky. <laughs> Game is that? It looks cool. Killing night, huh? I'm watching the Triple I initiative. Oh, oh, my mistake. I gotta leave. <laughs> this city's got it all. Bartenders. Well, it's also Minecraft. Look doctors, at the blocks. Waiters, enforcers, killers. No. The teachers die to a fridge. Waiters, enforcers. No matter how much of a loser you are, you haven't died to a fridge yet. Okay. Always keep that in mind. Keep your head up. Killers. <laughs> you haven't lost to a fridge. <laughs> now there's a new kind of killer in town. The bullet might have come from across the street, but the gun came from under it. Black market dealers are just like anybody else. They do their work, they clock out, they go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. And killers always leave a trail. All I gotta do is find them. Did it just say I'm a trail? <laughs> Among us. Gotta do is find them before they kill again. That's not how you use doors. You don't just walk into them. Come on, give me the vampire survivors. We know. Oh my god. Is it Palia? No, it's not. What is that? That is a farming sim kind of. Okay, Chinese it looks like. What is that? Dude, that is exactly my vibe. My time at Sandrock. It's on Steam. 9 out of 10 rating. How much is it? Uh, 35 euros. Okay, that's quite a lot. I have never seen them before, though. I'll check that out, I think. We didn't think the Viking raids would get any worse. The days are coming! You, <laughs> a lord of England, stronghold must in the graphics. Land. Establish a thriving village and keep it surprised. Uh, okay, that's bad. I love colony survivors. I love colony survivors a lot. Oh shit. Oh no. Construct fortifications. Oh don't do this to me. Please don't be a colony survivor. Just be an RTS. Please be an RTS. The ramparts. For our enemies have okay. harnessed an ancient terror. Oh wow. It's a tech world of Titan. Of steel and scale. Only the bravest. <laughs> the ones who. <laughs> hey guys. We time traveled and got these dinosaurs. How could we make the dinosaurs even cooler? I don't know. We'll slap a boat on it. Oh my god, you genius. We'll slap a boat on it. <laughs> that looks so stupid. I need it in my life. I need this. I need this. Who can defend their stronghold? <laughs> the ones who can raise an army. <laughs> Wait, why the they dinosaurs? Right, I totally forgot to ask that question. We'll be known. <laughs> that's not a go to dinosaur, that's As a boat to dinosaur. dinosaur. Is it an RTS? Is it a, is, 
Colony survival, what is it now? Steam. I'm sorry, I'm talking way too much. <sighs> Ooh. I'll be honest, not my type of game. Doesn't mean a lot, right? It's just not my personal thing. Is it like Dead Cells? Oh. I don't know what else Dead Cells is. <laughs> the dinosaurs thing makes me weird. Kestled. Okay. I like her hair though. That looks amazing. That's is is that's vampire survivors. I swear to god, I don't even I am I'm I'm gonna say this. I am 99.9% .9 sure the moment I see hold on to your butts, this is vampire survivors. If this is not vampire survivors, I'll be so disappointed. Because if you've watched the trailers on their channel, this is the type of stuff that they do. That must be Vampire Survivors. Yep, it is. It is. I knew it. Oh, I know my game. The game people have described as the most fun I've ever had with one hand. You can play as a dog. There are no vampires in this game. People have described as the most fun I've ever had. You idiot. With one hand, <laughs> you can play as a dog. There are no vampires yeah, in this the number one complaint. You get the right build and just delete a whole screen uh. of enemies. The garlic looks like balls. <laughs> Vampire Survivors is coming to PlayStation. True. True, it does. Is that the DLC? That's the DLC, that's Crochy. Okay. Yo! Whippler! I don't know what her name is. Siasunta, I think. Oh, it's American DLC. Okay. Okay. Well, it was just a question of time. It that's Rumble. Okay. So we have G.I. Joe and Rumble. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. The... Oh. Really? You need to. That really a cyber motor motor roller, whatever it's called. Operation guns. It's literally the American DLC. Well, that looks interesting, though. I think it's very fitting. Like, I think Vampire Survivors with Among Us was a bit a step too far away. Not saying I have something against it, but it didn't feel like it. But, okay, maybe that I don't talk while another game is playing. Um, I think Among Us was a bit too much of a step away. And I just recently finished all of the evolutions in the game. Like, it took me this long because it wasn't for me. Even though I loved certain weapons. But this one here actually feels like it's going back to Vampire Survivors. But in a... Obviously still a bit of a different direction. Because you have only so many weapons you can make. But I think this will be a very close feeling to Vampire Survivors. It's Contra. Okay, I have no idea what Contra is. I think you have said the balls thing before. Yeah, but like everyone has. Everyone who sees garlic says that's a pair of balls. Among Us was terrible. No, I wouldn't call it terrible. That definitely not. But I would say it's the worst DLC out of them and the most unfitting. But it's not bad in my opinion. I think there's also potato in here. And I'm kind of excited Eric for Shulman. that one. And I am the composer for Flintlock. 
I would oh describe the world of gold as this beautiful mixture of dust and dirt and grime with magic. That's like World of Warcraft, but in good graphics. And wonder. My main focus for the music in Flintlock was trying to achieve a sound that felt unique to this world and unique to this setting. <laughs> Wait. <to> this <laughs> I love the little hearts on his on his nails. <laughs> I don't know if that those are supposed to be hearts. <laughs> That's funny. Unique to this world and unique to this setting, unique to these enemies, unique to these characters. For the idea of combat in this game, I wanted it to feel very specific and specifically small. Why does this look way better than anything that Assassin's Creed has I ever really done? Wanted it to feel like and I love Assassin's Creed, but you know, awesome it, you, you gotta say what it is. Epic and kind of like you were up against a real challenge. Oi, oi, oi. I guarantee you, Assassin's Creed would play this. I'm most excited for players to experience a type of game and a type of world setting that we don't really see that much, that we haven't really seen that much in video games yet. I didn't expect this in the titles. Like, that looks huge, that game. Like, ginormous, ginormous. World premiere. Uh, Contra was from the 80s, 90s, arcades. Yeah, that probably explains it, because I only played on Game Boy Color. I didn't have anything else, and after that, PlayStation 1. But very limited games. And I was born in the 90s, so, you know, if it came out there, then obviously I didn't play it when I was born. But that looked really good. Ooh. Is it, um, expl exploration game? Um... What? What? It was not always like this. Our empire was lost to centuries of mist. Did we overuse the Perlas? Their infinite power? Maybe. I'm the curious. horrors were born, and that day the cataclysma began. We sought refuge on the peak. It reminds me of Thronefall. No way, that's with actually economy here. With actual economy. Then, one night, instead of fear, came hope. Huh? She bent the perilous to her will. Yeah. With her, we stood. Unbreakable. What? Okay, I have no idea what this game is actually about because that looked like a mixture of Baldur's Gate, Colony Survival, and RPG. I don't totally understand it. Oops. I have to close something. There we go. Take our hourglass, hero. <gasps> Way. No way you're in here. Please, 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 don't delay it. Make it soon. Death must die. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Collect your bearings and focus your mind. Act two. Act into death's rest. I don't remember that. That's new. Elm, once again. Oh, I miss you. <laughs> you really think you can kill Death Pal? We don't have a string for him. <laughs> <gasps> That's Act 2. 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 What kind of legend would it be with that fire mayhem? Whoa, 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 that's a new character. Interest? Cool. Allow me to interfere as guards. 
Pikachu. I want to see Death's heart encased in a prison of ice. Okay. When? Where's the when? Don't say like July. <clears throat> Please. Rise again, hero. This. There isn't nine days! That isn't a week! <laughs> oh, scheiße. Oh, that's when I'm doing Nordic Ashes already. Oh man, I said I'll not do double uploads. Nine. Oh, okay, guys. I think we'll have to do double uploads. Oh no, really? Oh, and Vampire Survivors is on the 9th, I think it was, on the 9th of May. So we'll do Nordic Ashes and Death Must Die until I'm done with both of them, which means it's probably double uploads for like two weeks, if not more. Oh god, I wanted to chill a bit, it's fine. Is not your I'm way too hyped for this, I'm not gonna say no to either of them. I didn't even know that Death Must Die was in there. When Earth turns against you, survival is all that matters. Okay, that's not a colony survivor. Yeah, yeah, it is. But do I like you? We are pioneers of our time. I mean, I'll be honest, it will be hard to beat dinosaurs that were a boat. It will be really hard to beat that. We live to expand. <clears throat> we live to rebuild. Looks generic as ever? I wouldn't say so, no. <clears throat> we live to survive. End zone. I've never heard of that. Huh? Sorry, my my brain is trying to process the music with the images and the way it's edited. I I need a second take. Like my brain is not keeping. That's like, huh? <laughs> it's so unfitting. That for some reason it makes it really good, but it's so unfitting. This is this is a space dude. You can't just do this with him. They are epic. Oh god, that even continues. Dude, that's a space dude in a space suit with guns. What is this? What is this? <laughs> and I hate it, I love it. <laughs> that's so stupid. How do you even come up with that? I, I, okay, I'll, I'll be absolutely honest, I have zero idea what the game is actually about, and I hate that I want to check it out as badly as I want to check it out right now. So I guess it did the job that it's supposed to do. <clears throat> Undermine! Hey! I have a long series on my chat. I just have to confirm something. Yep, those jiggled. Bonus point. She's an assassin.
<laughs> they just keep working bombs back and forth. I wonder if Dangerously Funny will make an entire series on that again, and I'm pretty sure he will. That looks so <laughs> The thing that I hate about this is that it's so stupid to do, but it's exactly my humor. There's a reason why I pointed this out and I just keep going with it. <laughs> uh. It reminds me of RimWorld, which is a good sign because that's one of my most played games. Dude, I have to write down all of these games after we're done. There are actually so many interesting games in there. I regret that I just said that there are so many interesting games in there. What am I watching? This is a car flipping patties. This is a... It's a bird. It's a ball. It's a chef. It's just an ordinary guy. <laughs> 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 the giraffe. <laughs> I didn't even know what I said it is. <laughs> Six legs. <laughs> I hope I won't take drugs here because I won't be really bad. I don't, you don't need drugs. Oh god, I have a feeling this will be one of the biggest trendy games for like the next one or two months. Where like every big YouTuber and streamer will play it. Okay, never mind. It's uh, September 5th. Okay, that will take a while. You already know exactly what will happen. Literally everywhere on YouTube this game will be. Like Fall Guys or stuff like that. Or what is it? Like, you know, the guy that tries to get up the mountain and falls down. So literally every single YouTuber will play this. Every single streamer will play this. And after everyone is done, Ludwig will appear and make a video on it when the hype is already over. This always happens. I I'm predicting the future here. Was it it? No. Phew. Uh, 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 uh. Pets, mice, potatoes. I think we know what that is. No clue what these two are, but I know what that one is. Secrets and whispers. Brought now to the fore. Oh, Darkest Dungeon. The light of victory casts a long shadow. And in that nighted gloom, your frightful triumph is under siege. Decency must be defended. I've never played this, but the graphics are amazing. I love the style so much. Righteousness reinforced. This realm must stand fast against those who would seek to poison it. 
and bleed it dry. The graphics are really amazing. This squalid kingdom, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. It's Dark Extension too. Yeah, it makes sense. Would be weird to have a Hello, trailer for the I'm first Anwar one. Hello, I'm Anwar Noriega, CEO and <clears throat> co-founder of Wabi Sabi Games, a team of developers Wabi -Sabi. mainly located <laughs> in Latin America. Growing up, we were heavily inspired by retro platformers, anime, and graffiti, and wanted to share all that love with the world with our own very first video game, Rakugaki. This is the first project we have created together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox. Publishing okay, is it just me, or are you also just staring at the dog? That dude looks like a bear, like a fluffy bear. I can't stop looking at him. Also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders Program. Now, here's Wait, a what? Look. We have created together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox Publishing and also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders Program. Now, here's a first look. World Premiere. Riot Games? They erased everything that made our city great. Our art, and even the people, scrubbed and drained. But I know what I have to do. Only way to resist to get our voices back is with Daku Gaki. Um, I honestly don't know what the game is about. Yeah. Broken Roads is a post-apocalyptic, narrative-driven RPG set in the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. <laughs> I love this contrast of, I have no idea what the other game just tried to be. Like, I have, li literally, I can't judge it, I have no idea. And then you go into the next game, and the dude is just, like, describing exactly what the game is about. That's kind of funny. Broken Roads is a post-apocalyptic, narrative-driven RPG set in the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. To survive, you'll have to make tough choices guided by the Moral Compass, an all-new alignment system that will test your worldview against nihilist, humanist, utilitarian, and Machiavellian ideas. Become a hired gun, a jackaroo, a surveyor, or a member of a barter crew and discover their unique attribute bonuses and starting skills and reputation within the world. Okay. Form bonds with a diverse cast of companions, each with their own moral leaning and ideal outcome for the many challenges you'll face on your journey across Western Australia. <clears throat> Broken Roads is available now. That looks quite interesting. I'm not 100% sure how the game is played, but it reminded me a bit of Kenshi, and if it's like that, then that would be amazing. Isn't Australian Outback already post-apocalyptic? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's true. No spiders. Well, you know when there are no spiders, then something really bad happens. Avalon something has been way worse. To the shadow oh, of a wow, bygone. the graphics. Nightmares have breached the last standing bastion of reverie. The heroes of the Raven. Oh, another one where you need friends, man. To overcome these evils. Come to me, friends. That's not enough to kill me. But oh, the graphics are so good. Why do I love this outlining so much? The black outlining. Raven's watch. Heed my call. I am Morgan for Avalon. 
on. And return my dear brother to his eternal God, that looks good. Man, I'm, 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 I, I, I couldn't even really focus. I was so focused on the graphics. Within the shadows. Interesting. <laughs> I thought it was the hamster. Okay, what just happened? Huh? Listen. I actually think this looks really interesting because it looks like you're walking on a map, you know, where you usually just see the icons where you are. And I think the design is interesting, but I also feel scammed because I saw this entire stuff here. And then, you know, it jumps over to the other one, to this one here. Hey, I would have liked to just see more of this one here then, you know, because it seems to be a really cute game. Does someone of you know Cat Quest? The first two were amazing. Okay, I believe that. Okay, good. Why does this also remind me of Crystal Brain? Waiting for Rest of Rain 2. Ah, that was earlier already. We saw that. I don't think this one here is the Rest of Rain. Yeah. Interesting. I may actually give that a shot. Dude, I'm still waiting for Potato. The last spell. Okay, this looks really difficult. I, I'm not sure if this would be something for me, because it feels like it's chess for fantasy nerds. Which now that I think about it sounds amazing. But then I have to use my brain a lot. Have you seen the drama around the event yet? What drama? Fill me in. Hi, it's Mers. Welcome. I'll just continue for now, but maybe we'll take a look at the drama afterwards. Whatever is going on there. Oh my god. Oh my, that's a colony survivor. I can identify them immediately. That's gu guaranteed. If that's not a colony survivor, I'm gonna rage quit out of life. Oh my god, I need this in my life. It's on a freaking mountain! It's on a mountain! This is where I build my Minecraft bases, in mountains! Okay, that's not cool.
dude. Ouch. Oh my god. That is so beautiful. Nah, I need this. What is that bridge even? That, that like no physics to make that work. Lay, lay, lay Zara, lay Zara, lay Zara, lay Zara. The trials are upon us. Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? Now, I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. This wizard wields fire arcana. Easy to learn, hard to master. Maybe the contest is finally heating up. Smell that burning. That's the scent of failure. She's onto an electrifying strategy. Hades is coming to my mind. I think it's similar to it, right? Yeah, I would say so. Welcome to Deadsville. Population, her. Now these four have the right idea. Any rules against teaming up? Nope. Using others as shields is a time-honored tradition. Incredible. <laughs> the best I've seen yet. But to win, it will take a champion. A master. No. A legend. Quite a lot of people are talking about how it's supposed to be indie games but some of the games shown didn't really fit like the last tra uh, trailer of the event i mean to be honest i yeah i mean i think it's always a stretch on the definition of what indie games are because like can we really consider Vampire Survivors an indie game anymore? The studio has grown a lot. It's no longer just one person. It has millions of downloads. The guy is rich. Is it really an indie game? I consider it one because it started by one person. And even though there's a studio behind that, I consider it one. And I think if you stretch the definition of indie game in that way, it really comes down to how you view it. And given that this is literally just 45 minutes of trailers and not like you have like 75% is talking and advertisements, I think it's totally fair if they put something in that may have paid for a spot that manages to pay for the event or something like that, you know. What even is indie? Yeah, it's really difficult to determine that. And, but, and like the other thing is when do you stop being indie, right? It's Sims. You caught my attention, mister. And it's not from EA. That's the best part. Oh, well, it's about schools. So never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You're new. You're new. I know that mouth. You're new. You are not new. That's, um, that's, um, dummy thick. What's his name? Uh, what what's the what's the what's the what's the what's the eating guy? But yeah, this one is new. Wait, there, there were no enemies. That's a shrimpy boy. That's a coral, or what they are called, where Nemo is hiding in. That's Nah, that's just disgusting no matter how you look at it. Cool trees. Okay. Sniper. Ooh! Chainsaws and the dude. He is also new. That one is the one where you get. Um, no. I, was he new? I don't know the beard. Oh, co op would be so cool. <laughs> These mafia guys just with miniguns, and then there's a slapping pacifist. <laughs> 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 
Oh, that's amazing. This summer. Okay. Oh, okay. So what do we have right now? So next up. Okay, for right now, we have Artifact Seeker. Then Nordic Ashes will start. Nordic Ashes will have its full release on the 26th of April. I will have early access to that so I can prepare videos earlier. But now I have... Um, at the same time, Death Must Die. After that, there's Vampire Survivors. And then after that, there's most likely Potato coming. Jesus, that will be a busy summer. Local co-op. Yeah, because multiplayer is always way harder to set up, sadly. But I agree with you. It's like me. Hi, Danger Copter. You can play local co-op on Steam with Steam friends. It's built into it. So, I don't think that's true. At least not the way you think it works, if you hear it. So, I remember... When co-op in Vampire Survivors came out, I thought I just have to add someone on Steam and we play. But the way it actually works is they play on my screen. So they don't play in their own game, but they play on my screen, which was really messed up. Bounty of One also did that. And it was so disgusting to play there because of ping delay. When you play like with someone across the entire world and you know a lot of people that I interact with are from America and stuff like this. Um, it's disgusting. So I don't know if that's different here, if you literally just have to connect with someone, like just be friends and they join, like the same way you do it in Stardew Valley, then it's fine. But if it's like in Bounty of One, then nope, I'll not touch that. Steam Remote Play? Yeah, yeah, that's disgusting. Like, you can't play Horde Survivals with such a huge ping delay. Exactly, yeah, you stream to them and back to you. You can't do that. That's, that's literally the opposite of how Horde Survivals work. It's like playing a shooter with that. Also, this game looks interesting, but it's not my type. Chia. Isn't that seeds? Unrelated, but apparently OJ Simpson died. Is he part of The Simpsons? Streets of Rogue 2 is a high-octane RPG sandbox set in a vast, randomly generated open world. With this ambitious sequel, our goal is to create the most open-ended and fun sandbox experience ever and evolve the ultimate freedom of choice that made the original game a cult hit. In Streets of Rogue 2, your mission is to overthrow a corrupt president of a small country, either solo or with friends via online co-op. How you reach your goal is completely up to you. Assemble a mercenary army and plan a coup. Stage a zombie virus outbreak or just chill out, build a farm, and totally <gasps> ignore the main quest. Okay, I want Pick to do from that. A diverse roster of playable I don't care about the rest, but I want to do each that. With their own unique, weird traits. I'm, I'm in Take the game. A... Did you see that? I'm what in the character game. classes, each with their oh. own unique decks. Ignore the rest. Weird <laughs> traits. Take a look at these glorious bastards. Hacker, chef, cultist, wrestler, detective, ninja, also gorilla, and werewolf, and uh, investment banker. And the game is not really more. my type, but the, the dude sneaky, is selling or it go well. Guns blazing, or make others do your dirty work. Get inventive and experiment. There are multiple ways to complete each mission. Wreak havoc with a vast arsenal of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. Machine guns, shrink rays, bear traps, check. <laughs> Supercars and speedboats, check. Boom boxes, banana peels, rat summoning oak arena, uh, necronomicon, uh, check, I guess. The huge procedurally generated map of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes. Bustling cities, serene countryside, mysterious caves, Sunlit islands, creepy graveyards, explore this lively world, engage with its quirky inhabitants, and write your own story. 
Streets of Rogue 2 is coming to Steam Early Access later this year. Add the game to your wish list. I don't know what to feel about this. I am really intrigued. Like, really intrigued. But at the same time, I'm like, that doesn't look like a game I would enjoy. And then, I, like, all the time I'm like, okay, I would enjoy this, I would enjoy this, I would enjoy this. But it doesn't really look like something I would enjoy, but I'm really intrigued. So I'm like, Ugh, I don't know what to think. Huh. Maybe I'll play a demo or something like that. Ooh. Isn't that the one where... No. I thought there was the, the Crusader or something like that. <laughs> That's like... The reason why I can never play games like these is because alone in this tech box there's like three times more text than what I read an entire game. You can't do that to me. I, I would just click random stuff here. Pale world. Why are you in here? Okay. Into the city of okay. War. Well, that was very short. In darkness, thirty-three souls join together. Thirty-three gather courage against his law. We rebel. Fell beasts overwhelm you. Unite. Bolster your defenses. Flee his fierce fire. Mend your wounds and press on. Okay, that looks like a Hades like. Um, by the way, if I say something like that, I only say that for me as a reference to identify what the game is about and what to compare it to, like to better understand it. It's not like a critique. Uh, obviously, games get inspired by other games. I think the only issue is, especially with Hades, it's a very story-driven game that you get heavily invested to. Nice, by the way. Very nice. <laughs> okay, that's a bonus point. Um... I, but I think, like, because if games just take the play style, but they don't replace, like, they don't find, a, like, a different way of getting the heart of the story in, then those games turn out to be rather boring. I could be entirely wrong with that, though. Seek to consume you. The fall may yet be saved. And the actions of the Valiant are rewarded in relics eternal. Oh, wow. Great is the wrath of God, and the second death may take you. Yet together, hope and help remain. Hone your skills, indulge in modest vanity. Make haste to the gate, and quickly rejoin the fray. That's a lot of players I'm noticing. That's more than the typical four. Thirty-three sinners. Oh, 33. Mark my oh, wow, okay, that's a lot. That's unique. pain and sacrifice will 33 souls become. I think the only problem is, if we assume that this is actually 33 players, first of all, you always have to rely on other people, but also you have to rely on the game being successful and that people keep playing it right. If that's how I think it works, that you play with 32 other people. Because if you can't even find find 32 other people unless you wait for an hour, then it's like, great, I can't play the game. But it looks interesting. It looks very interesting. Immortals. Ah, yes, the ping. I don't think the ping necessarily has to be a problem if you render the game on the main computer and not on the host. So... I'll give an example in Monster Hunter World, and this is one of my most favorite things about this game. When you play multiplayer games with someone else, 
you will see that someone gets hit and obliterated by a monster, but they didn't. Because the only thing that affects the actual player, the other player, is on their own screen, and then it transfers the data to the server. And if they didn't get hit on their own screen, it doesn't matter if this is like a huge delay and technically it looks like they got hit, you know? So it wouldn't matter if they do it like this. Like, then you can have 33 people in there and zero problems. You think they can do bots? Okay. As long as the 33 players are not a core element, you know, that they're actually humans, if that's not the case, then that works. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an announcement to make. In a brave new world, anyone can be whoever they want to be. And nothing uh. says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spike D with its special secret <laughs> ingredient. Get <laughs> don't call it Spike D. I mean, call it Spike D's nuts if you want, but don't call it Spike D. Please. Remember your five a day. Wow. The un unexpected to say the least. That is really unexpected. Oh hey, a vampire survivor. Dude, I, for some reason I have insane flashbacks right now to Neverwinter Nights. Oh wow. Okay, but what is the game about? I really enjoy the graphics because, like, the graphics, they look like old-school RPG graphics on the PlayStation, but ramped up for nowadays standards, but without losing the soul of these graphics, if that makes sense. Isn't that... Wait, isn't that a game that is called X? Something... No, V? V Rising? Yeah, V Rising Castlevania DLC. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's V Rising. Man, I wanted to play that so badly. Man, but the graphics are amazing. They are so old school, I love that. That's literally what a game on the PS2 would have looked like, like a new game on the PS2. Dude had a Farachi. The effects are so good, yeah. I think the entire graphics look amazing. Like, just look at this. This picture here kind of shows exactly what I'm talking about. Here. You know what I mean? You take PlayStation 2 graphics, but you modernize them, but you keep the soul of the old console. And I love that. World Premiere. I'm a thinking of Prince of Persia.
this dude would have literally killed her <laughs> if the if the drying line wasn't there. Isn't it Prince of Persia? Well, at least like really inspired by it. Oh, it is. It actually is. Oh wow! I okay. I'm, I'll be honest. I didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. Huh. Okay, I had a bombs. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do we say? Well, I would say we have a lot to do. Like, we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do. Um, Death must die, Protato, Vampire Survivors, Nordic Ashes, Artifact Seeker, Soulstone Survivors also, but I'll pause Soulstone Survivors until the update is redone, whatever they want to do. Um, and then we'll just check it out from time to time, you know. Um, in case you guys don't know that, and I never voiced that, we pretty much, I started doing a wildcard weekend, so five days within the week is like the active games so usually one or two main games that i have going and the weekend is like whatever i randomly throw in like that could also be an entirely different unassociated game because i need this on my mind that i don't look for numbers and it's just like you know what what happens on the weekend happens if the video gets five views a video gets five views who cares it's wildcard weekend um th that's pretty much a plan and in the future, there's a good chance you will also see different types of games that are still similarish to what I do. Like, instead of being city builders, it's like roguelikes still, but that's very different to Horde Survivals. But yeah, Dex needs money to play all of these. I think I can manage. <laughs> just barely, just barely. Well, I think I can, I can, I can barely manage, but yeah. But wow. There are so many amazing games in there. Is there like a list in the description? I like how it just says Rist of Rain 2. But it's a little bit sad that there's no list. I wonder, okay, let's actually see what people say. Hey, Goblin! <laughs> Welcome and Stardew Valley. <laughs> uh, I'm honestly enjoying a few companies going the cadence of Hyrule route, licensing franchise to smaller creators to make something fresh, okay. Famous indie company Ubisoft. Yeah, but that's probably just publishers, right? I would assume that it's just a publisher running that. What? Well, okay, I kind of hope that I would get something more out of the comment section. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Man, people are always in such a bad mood. I don't know. I'm just happy. Um, you ever want to play, record videos on Balatro? I don't know what that game is, potentially. But yeah, Ubisoft published. They ma didn't make the game themselves. And, the, uh, and I don't... Yeah, I mean, getting a publisher is good, right? That's like your ultimate goal, because what you want to have is security, it doesn't help you if you go the indie route looking at the 1% that managed to do it and you die on the way there. Publish, get fucked over if it works out because then you earn way less money but you have stability and then you have a fan base and then you go to the next game. That's the hope. The dream would be that your game just pops off without a publisher but realistically speaking you will not manage to do that. 
But yeah, no, I really like that. I love that. So that was it, guys. That was it for today. Um, I'll definitely go back to recording now for Vampire Survivors. I will not go back to Stardew Valley. So, <laughs> I'll play Stardew Valley. I'm sorry, guys. I can't stop. So yeah. Hi, Avantus. Thank you. But yeah, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. There is a Vampire Survivors video coming out about the new beta update that dropped yesterday in one hour. So be ready for that. And tomorrow... Is today Thursday? Yeah. Tomorrow it continues with Artifact Seeker and weekend is then random stuff. So see you the next time. I'm out. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here.